Thank you, and good afternoon, everyone. And thank you all for coming here this afternoon to the Cabinet Office. One of Bermuda's great strengths lies in the many community-based organizations that grace our shores, organizations that have grown out of people's desire to help and support one another. I'm speaking of many community clubs, sporting associations, mentoring groups, and charities that exist to care for the needy, to guide and inspire our young people, and to help people bond and grow together. They are part of the very fabric of Bermudian life, part of our history, and they are vital to our future. Economic conditions in recent years have pressured many of our organizations, and the government has looked at ways to ease this burden. In 2013, we promised to put the proceeds of crime back into the community to assist in the fight against violence and antisocial behavior. We subsequently passed the proceeds of crime legislation, making it possible to direct confiscated assets back into the community. This led to the launch in 2014 of our Cash Back for Communities program, in which we directed much needed funding to support five helping organizations. And today, I'm pleased to be here with my colleague, Minister Pat Gordon Pamplin, to announce the latest in the Cash Back for Communities initiatives with the presentation of $90,000 to five organizations whose work with Bermuda's young people continues to have a very positive impact on our society. The recipients are as follows. The Bermuda Sancho Association, the Bermuda Netball Association, Beyond Rugby, the Hamilton Parish Football Club, and YouthNet. On behalf of the government and the people of Bermuda, I want to take this opportunity to thank each recipient for their work with our young people. Their success speaks for themselves, and I'm very pleased today with my colleague to be able to offer government support and help to continue their good work. I will say before I present the checks that I'd like to um, acknowledge that in the future, when funds become available from the con confiscated assets fund, we'll continue to make uh, presentations like we have done today. I also acknowledge that there are many organizations in our community who do great work, and there'll be some that will be disappointed that they weren't called for today's presentation. We understand those concerns, and we'll do our best to continue to meet the needs of the community. So, Minister, let's yeah. hand over the checks. Okay. Well, firstly, Mr. Premier, we have the presentation to the Bermuda Sancho Association, and there's $15,000. Thank you very much. Congratulations. I will note, Minister, before we progress further, that just in the paper today, the fruit of the great work you've done has been acknowledged. So continue to keep up your leadership. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. Okay. And now we also have a presentation for $15,000 <laughs> to the Bermuda Netball Association. For the Beyond Rugby, um, we have a presentation of $20,000, and Ms. Dismond is receiving on behalf of the Beyond Rugby. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. I will um, say at this point that uh, Beyond Rugby worked very closely with the Family Center, and um, the representatives for Beyond Rugby were not able to be here today, so uh, Ms. Dismond has come and helped out. This relationship is one where we've seen some of our young people go into the field of sport on rugby field and really change their lives. And I've been, the minister and I have been up to the National Sports Center and seen the training, and I've been touched by the work that's been done and how our young people are really getting involved in a sport they never played before. So thank you for your support, and thank you to Mr. Layfield and, and Beyond Rugby for everything they do. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. And our next presentation is for Hamilton Parish Football Club. And this is a presentation for $20,000. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It's going to take the chat. Yeah. 
And our final presentation today is for YouthNet. And this is a check for $20,000. Thank you Congratulations. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I can just reiterate the Premier's comments. The work that you all do in the community is deeply appreciated and by a small token of our appreciation for the work that you do, money coming out of the confiscated assets funds, keep up that good work because our young people need that, that help. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, yes, yeah, so uh, my name is Claire Mello and I'm representing YouthNet. I'm the executive director and I just want to say a, uh, a heartfelt thank you to uh, the minister and and, prime, and uh, our premier for for this uh, and, for, and to the government for this initiative. I think it's a, a fantastic initiative that can benefit that will continue to benefit nonprofits and certainly in this economic time, um, you know, we're called upon to be a little bit more nimble and adaptable and do a little bit more with less. So this is even more welcome. So thank you very much. Pleasure. Sorry. Uh, on behalf of Bermuda Central Association, I'd like to thank uh, the Premier and the Minister uh, for the generous uh, donation uh, to Bermuda Central Association. Um, Bermuda Central Association has been flying the Bermuda flag um, for 10 years now, and, and one of the difficulties that we've always had is um, to secure funding. When we started out, it was actually a lot easier than it is now. Um, since the financial crisis, you know, dollars have been really tight. Um, so we're just really grateful um, for the opportunity and we're, we'll continue to represent uh, the country with pride. Thank you very much. Good day, uh, Nigel Burgess on behalf of the Hammond to Paris Youth Soccer Program. I'd like to reiterate the comment, the previous comments. Um, this uh, money on behalf uh, donated by the government uh, will go a long way to uh, um, assist in the, the program uh, and to assist the 100 plus kids that we uh, you know, um, support uh, throughout the year. Um, uh, we have all, all volunteer, volunteer staff and the, the government um, supports us through, through the use of uh, Shelley Bay Field. 100% um, volunteers, 100% um, uh, supported by, uh, uh, sorry, no, uh, parents and um, the good people that you have here. So um, thank you very much. Um, I would like to thank the Premier and the Minister for this donation to the Bermuda Napa Association. Um, this will go a long way towards our strategic initiatives as we continue to strive to be the number one sport in Bermuda mm -hmm. and to also um, increase our membership and to also uh, send our juniors away for international tournaments and to just increase our outreach in the community. So thanks a lot. I also want to join my colleagues uh, to thank the uh, Minister and the Pre Honorable Premier for this wonderful donation, particularly to the Beyond Rugby program, which is a sporting program that has counseling attached to it. So the Family Center has partnered with the Bermuda Rugby Football Union to provide a service for these young kids, and they are loving it. And it's, it's fantastic when the government invests uh, uh, these funds in something like Beyond Rugby, because the kids feel it. And uh, just like all our colleagues have said here today, uh, we're very grateful to receive this kind of donation and investment because the kids actually are the beneficiaries at the end of the day. And so thanks so much for this donation. Thank you. So um, members of the media, just as I wrap up, uh, let me say a thank you to all of your organizations. You mentioned something about uh, volunteers that I think is critical. Um, so I think sports, provide a whole new opportunity for our young people to get involved. It takes them into a path where it teaches us so many of the things that are important in life. Teamwork, discipline, the value of hard work, competition. You meet people you never met before. And it wouldn't be possible, all of this, without the volunteers, the family, and the friends that get involved. And I realize that it takes a lot for that to happen. You, sometimes you probably scratch your head and wonder why you do it. But you do it because the success you've seen. And as you've seen people come along in competition, you see me, some young people get to hire uh, avenues of sport and also do more in, in, in their lives and business with their family. And so I commend all of you, all of the volunteers, people who go out of the way just to do that little bit extra. I know government, we, sometimes we're limited by what we can do. 
and we'll continue to do every, everything we can to bring our community together and help you with the work that you do, the work that you volunteer. So thank you. I hope there's a bit more spring in your step, and thank you for coming to Cabinet today. Thank you. Thank you.